Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us for another Feels Food Review live. Live. We are absolutely live. <laughs> no, live. That's live. Lie. Pre recorded. <laughs> Madeira Beach, Florida, at Mad Brewing Company. It's a brewing company and a restaurant, and that's where we're doing this from. And we're at beautiful Madeira Beach. You can't see it, but it's out there, I promise. Today at Mad Beach Brewing. Yeah. It's Mad Beach Brewing. They have a brewery, but it is also a restaurant and a very highly recommended restaurant. <laughs> but anyway, so this place I've heard great things about. They have awesome food, and today we're actually going to be trying Gator Bites. I know to a lot of people out there, they're like, it's, it's just like, it's just like a fun, a funzy name. No, it's actually Gator Bites. It's actually gator because we gator have- Gator tail. It's gator tail. We have gator in Florida and we're like, hey, they're scary and they look like dinosaurs, so we eat them. So we got that. We also got a jelly donut burger and a bunch of different beers. So I don't know, man. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so Jen's gonna try her hand at gator. Apparently, during this, we went live, which I guess I could have recorded that. That would have been kind of neat to put that in there for a second. We went live for a minute on YouTube and a lot of people thought it was crazy to eat gator. It's pretty common here. I yeah, mean, we live in like, a big old swamp, so. It's not like hugely common, but it's pretty common. That gator, and it comes with a little little spicy Cajun slaw. That's bad. You took that whole bite. That sauce, I put it on there and makes it. I mean, the, the meat by itself is good, but that sauce is amazing. Here's my bite of the gator. Mm. I know everyone's gonna to wanna to know what the hell does it taste like and what is the texture. Mm. It does not taste like chicken, I swear to God. And it doesn't taste like fish either. It does taste like an in-between. It's got the, the texture, see that? It's got the texture of like a hearty fish, like a swordfish, like a shark. It's somewhere in between chicken and fish. It really is. Delicate flavor. Not, not a fishy taste at all. People say things taste like chicken when they just don't have a, a good way to describe it, to be honest with you. Yeah. You can overpower this very easily. It's such a delicate flavor that if you put any spice in this breading, like too much spice, it would taste like nothing but that breading and the, the middle might might as well not even have it. Hint of pepper, a little spice, just enough to accent what's in there. And then they put this drizzle, the drizzle of sauce and the slaw so in there. Good. I'm telling you, if you're not a fish fan, you might be a gator fan. And I don't mean a football team. I'm gonna try the cinnamon maple first. Ooh, that smells like... It smells good. It smells like maple syrup. It tastes like Christmas. We have the Undertaker lighting going on here. I know, I'm yeah. sure it looks terrific right now. I'll blast it out with contrast. <laughs> Please so do. we look like little cherubs. <laughs> Please do. Ooh. It smells good, huh? It smells like maple. 
chocolate tastes like Christmas? Not really. It tastes like breakfast. This one's white chocolate. You know, it almost like it's mixed with some sort of alcohol, like liquor. <laughs> it almost tastes like it has alcohol no, in it. Like liquor, like not like just beer. It tastes like liquor. It's like the brownie. Thing. Liquor in it? No, I think the <laughs> thing that you're thinking is just a, a brownie. This is the sour ale, correct? Yeah, this is red thing. I don't know if it's called something else, but it's red thing. We'll go with red thing. Mm. What was that little sassy? Mm -mm -mm. It's really good. Very good. Yeah, yeah. awesome. I heard him say it earlier. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. I mean, it shouldn't be too long to your so I just wanted to give you a heads up. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. It's great fruit. This is the Octo Hoppimus. said it was really hoppy. It smells hoppy. It's not that hoppy. We call her Hop Along Jen because she likes hops so much. Okay. You get, you get the bouquet of hops. You're not familiar with what that is. It smells like grass or wheat. Almost is a coffee mixed with a strong ale, like an American yeah. strong ale. It's blueberry tangerine. You don't like that one? It's fine. Flat. What you expected? No. It's almost like a juice. It'd be a good beer for someone who doesn't like beer. Last one is the Gravacito. I like it. Oh, the hoppiest hop. Is this the hoppiest hop along gen ever? No. Hop. Hoppy guava, right? <laughs> you were kidding him up. Here, put that back up. <laughs> Look, I'm TV star. Yeah, but you were, seriously, you weren't kidding about that smelling like weed. No. Holy crap, here, smell that. That's right up our alley. That's a lie. Jen's gonna dive into this behemoth, beautiful, and by the way, it smells amazing. It does, it smells like real Jelly beef. donut burger. It smells like real beef, y'all. Like. Look at that thing, look at that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I asked it for I asked for it medium. It's got look at that big hunks of cheddar cheese on there. The jelly donut. All right. It smells good. Did you get a little of everything? Donut. Really soft. And the meat. Very good. Very 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 good meat. I don't know what that fat content is, but it's probably pretty damn high. <laughs> I really taste a lot of powdered sugar. A lot of powdered sugar? Yeah, and it's, but they, they, don't, they didn't put a ton on there, and it's really good. Gotta get some of that jam. Okay. Did you get it there? Oh my god. Oof, look at all that ooey gooey cheese and bacon. I want to bite with the jam on it. Because from what I hear, a little birdie told me, that little birdie named Jen, that the best bite was with the jam. You know what though? I ain't going dainty. I'm hungry. Oh god. Look at that. That ain't grease. That's love. It tastes like the biggest, fluffiest donut fresh out of the fryer you've ever had. It's so fluffy, it almost has like a broiler taste to it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you're right. But you get a little bit of that powdered sugar. It's not crazy sweet. It's just sweet enough to, to accent and meld perfectly together with the, the, the beefy, salty, greasy goodness that is that meat. The meat, the meat is really good. Then you get that salty bacon and then the jam. It's like everything there is like to either counteract each other or to accent each other. Either way, it works. A little smoky, a little salty, a little peppery. Oh my God. I wish everyone had one of these right now who are watching this. This is fantastic. Do you have a place near you that has a jelly donut burger? I really got Whitfield, believe it or not. Now, the donut burger is, I wish we had a scale that was higher than five out of five. 
Because it's ridiculously perfect. Like, I can't imagine it being better. I, I can't imagine it being better, to be honest with you. And I'm not just saying that because we're here, we're live, all that stuff. It's... <laughs> absolutely spectacular. So, that's what we think, guys. Let us know what you think. Did you like this video? Is it fun to see us on location at places that, unless you live in the Florida St. Pete area, you're probably not going to get to go to. But is it fun to see us explore our own hometown and our culinary adventures? If so, let us know. We'll do much more. Our local area is like boom lately. We have tons of amazing um, gastro pubs and breweries and these amazing eateries. So if you want to see more videos like this, let us know because we will definitely do them because this is a place we wanted to go to and we now finally have an excuse to. So thank you for giving us that excuse and we appreciate that. Find out Voodoo Donut, the Voodoo Donut, is going to be open on the very day we are going to Orlando. So In two excited. Weeks, we get to try Voodoo Donut and we get to share it with you guys. We are so stoked. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. That's all we got left of our entire meal. It's been, it's been a great day. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and all the other stuff. Put your words in the comments down below. We can communicate. That's how it works. Hit that like button. Go him that like button. Go that like button. Come on. So anyway, guys. Um, so anyway, so thank you all for watching. And until next time.